Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got the cheapest Traxxas Stampede project out with me. Now what happened in the last video was the servo saver spring kept on popping out. And then on top of that, I lost a spring. The spring fell out of my pocket. My plan was to glue it back together. Uh, so I actually had to improvise. So what I ended up doing was I use one of the spring retainers. So these are actually the preload retainers that come with the Stampede and they go right in here and they put more preload on your shock springs. I actually use one of those and I cut the very end, like the uh, tab piece off of it. It actually fit in there nicely. So I'm hoping that'll kind of work in place of the spring. It's not gonna work as well as the spring, obviously. And then I used a dab of Gorilla Glue and I glued that in there. Since I didn't put a ton of glue in there, I'm hoping number one, it doesn't fall back apart. I'm also hoping there's a little bit of give uh, with that little spring retainer in there that it has a little bit of give to it. So we'll see if it holds up. Still running that 12 turn Titan motor, which might be finished after today's run. Cause today I'm actually at a local beach, at a local park, and we're gonna run this thing in the sand. Uh, running the Badland tires, of course, we're gonna be running a two cell LiPo, this 5200 milliamp 50C discharge rate two cell uh, Vant LiPo battery. Um, and last time I burned this motor up, the first motor, I burned it up when I was traveling uh, on vacation in Colorado, and we are still running the high speed gearing. So we're running the high speed gearing, still the complete bone stock system, and we're gonna be running in the sand, and it's fairly warm today. It's probably 75 degrees and sunny. So uh, we'll see if this holds up. But uh, if it doesn't, then it might be time to go brushless. So let me go ahead, get that two cell installed, and we'll get started ripping in the sand. Also, if you're enjoying the whole Cheapest Tracks of Stampede project, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe and hit that bell so you will be notified whenever I come out with new videos because upgrades are going to start coming soon. Only one so far is these uh, Proline Badland MX-28 tires, which so far seem pretty good. They just might be causing a little bit more strain because of the weight. All right, so let's start off with the launch. Ready, get set. Go! That's pinned. She's still good to move on. See if we can jump this log. Yes! And tumbled it. Yeah, my plan is to jump right there. Maybe we can gather some speed and get a little bit of air. No. Yeah, with the high speed gearing installed, she doesn't quite pull a wheelie from a stop. Maybe it's just not getting the traction. Yeah, I mean, that's extra weight on the front, I have to keep in mind too. So there's much more weight with those uh, tires and the wheel hex adapters that all adds weight to the front end. You can kind of see the front wants to lift a little bit, but it's not quite lifting. Which is kind of sad, because this thing's a wheelie machine. Just doesn't seem to be a wheelie machine in the sand. The lack of wheelies, a little disappointing. I can already see heat coming off that motor. It's not burned up yet though, I don't think. And I can already smell that motor. That was a full throttle launch. It's not even kicking sand up in my face, really. I think we're gonna burn this motor up. So before I burn it up just out here on the flat sand, let's go ahead and let's jump it real quick. I'm pinned right now. Yeah, but that wasn't that bad. Got more air than I thought. Let's jump her off. Yeah, this thing, the one thing that does impress me is this thing actually jumps pretty well. So far, I've been impressed with how the stampede jumps. Bring her back. I am pinned. Ooh. You hear that noise? Well, that doesn't sound confidence inspiring. Let's go check it out. What happened? Is that just sand? I wonder, sand could probably pretty easily get in the fan of this motor though. What I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick is I'm gonna go back to the Jeep, uh, get the screws off the gear cover and see if it's the gears. I can't tell if it's the gears or if something literally got into the motor, which I could, ah, it's very hot too. I just burned myself. Something could have gotten into the motor with how big the pebbles are here at this beach, but um, it sounds like when I give it throttle, it's coming from the gear case, but it could be coming directly from the motor. So it's worth investigating. All right, so I got back to the Jeep. I took the gear cover off. It appears the gear is still okay. 
So I wonder if that noise is actually coming from the motor itself. I wonder if some rock or something got inside of the motor because gear mesh still appears to be all right. I still feel some resistance though. So I don't know, it could be coming from the motor itself or something within the transmission. But uh, so I think that just means we're just gonna keep on running it until uh, something gives, which I feel like this motor is probably gonna give. But let's uh, get the cover back on and go back to jumping it. All right, let's get back over to my jumping spot and uh, launch this thing before this motor burns up. It sounds a little better now though, maybe uh, yeah, I'm not really hearing the noise now. Maybe it worked itself loose. Yeah, it sounds a lot better now. I don't know. Yeah, let's see, like... What do you know? The noise is gone. So it must have uh, shifted in there. It's probably still caught in the motor, but... Let's go back to jumping it. Here we go. Take her down. We don't have to go get a super big run up. And here we go. Yeah, the thing doesn't jump too bad. I'm actually impressed with how this thing jumps. It just gets slowed down big time in the sand. If I keep on running this full throttle with this high speed gearing in the sand, this motor is going to be cooked by the end of this video, but uh, then we'll just upgrade it. I'm going to launch right through here. She isn't quite lifting up the front tires. She's not quite doing a wheelie. Ooh, tumble. Can this thing do a wheelie? Like it just kind of wants to pull a wheelie, but there. You can kind of get it to pull a wheelie, but with the high speed gearing, it definitely takes away a lot of that initial torque. Like this thing popped wheelies every single time I hit the throttle uh, when it was uh, brand new with the low speed gearing, the stock gearing. Now, there. You gotta kind of hit it just right. Get just the right amount of traction and momentum in order for that front end to come up. I imagine this motor is gonna be cooked here in a couple minutes. I really think it's gonna be cooked here. Let me stand down here get a view of it coming down. Maybe I can get a good shot of it hitting. Here we go. Still a fun little machine though. Ooh, nose dive that time. Did a front flip. I like how it jumps though, it just need more power. This thing will be quite the ripper with a brushless system. Nice. For a $160 RC guys, I'm impressed. So far, that servo saver hack that I've done is actually holding up, which is surprising, because all I did was glue a spring retainer thing or a preload. Look at all the smoke coming off the motor, though. Yeah, where are you going? This motor's almost done, I think, guys. We're probably going to finish it with this pack. It's smoking like crazy. I can smell it. Definitely say this thing, bone stock, is much more tailored for being on road. So when you're on pavement, maybe on gravel and grass, it's a lot better. But once you start getting to thick grass, or sand like this, it bogs down a lot, especially running the high speed gearing, which is not recommended for bashing anyway. Um, so this is definitely really starting to show where it needs more power. It definitely needs more power in these conditions. I'm 
smoke this motor though. How many more jumps is it gonna take? You guys think two, three more jumps and the motor's gonna be done? Like I'm, I'm not doing anything with the throttle. It's still landing nicely. But I mean, this does have a nice pronounced lip on this jump, but it's landing them nice. See, she's bogged. Oop, there goes the motor. Here it comes. You see that smoke? Motor's done. She's smoking. That motor is cooked. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but it's smoking quite a bit. Will it even go? Nope, it won't go. So guys, this motor, the second brush motor we put in it is burned up. So this will be the end of this video, and I think you know what's gonna have to come in the next video. It's time to go brushless with this thing. So uh, thanks for watching anyway. Hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.